Look how fat that thing is. It's that time of the year. <laughs> what bass guys use for bait? What we use for bait? <laughs> right here. That's a big fish. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go down real, 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 real. Okay, can't let it come up. Can't, can't let it. Ooh, big bubble bro. He's gonna be a good fish. Stick your rod out to the right. Insert skipjack. Well, good afternoon, you guys. We are here on Chickamauga Lake with my friend Draven. He is new to the world of catfishing at least catfishing on rod and reel for catfish. We uh, spent the morning catching a skip jacket. It was pouring down rain all morning, so I didn't really do any filming. They were hard to find. We eventually got them. And uh, we are now on Chickamauga Lake the day after the Cabela's King Cat Tournament. And we're gonna try to put him on a new personal best rod and reel catfish. Uh, his biggest one right now is probably 15, 20 pounds, something like that on rod and reel. So hopefully we can beat that today. We got a lot of current on the lake and we got some big giant skipjack for bait. We'll show you some of them. A couple of them are like three pounds, like they're huge. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fish deep water ledges today, 50, 60 feet, maybe deeper. And uh, we're on mid lake right now. We may go to the upper end, we'll see, but we're just gonna play it by ear and see what happens. We're gonna be anchor fishing right now and then we may change it up later, but we are gonna pick them up and get out there to fishing. Pretty nasty out here today. Draven's in the army. We went to college together. And we ain't the only crazy people out here for once. We were only crazy people below the dam this morning when it was pouring down rain. And we didn't even catch the skipjack until it stopped raining, so like we could have slept in. Alrighty. Welcome to the shit box, sir. Welcome. Two thousand years later. Freaking rain and blowing wind the last hour, and we have not been able to fil film anything. So we're gonna film now. <laughs> right now we're set up on a current break right now next to a, uh, the uh, intake for the nuclear plant, but there's a lot of current on the main channel. There's a point right there that makes a current break back behind us and we're just sitting inside the current break right now in about 40 feet of water to see if we can pick up some cats. He just caught about a six pounder and then we lost a pretty decent one on that rod earlier. I just wasn't filming it, it was still raining. But uh, we are now fishing, you guys. We got Gigantor Skipjack down in there. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's see if he's still on it. Slow reel. Yeah, reel, reel, reel. Got him. Oh, it came off. Maybe. He's still on there. That's about to go down. Let that one just go down nice and slow to your right. Just let it go down. Let it go down. Ready to go down. Put your hand on the top left hand side so the rod doesn't shake. I think you put it down. No. Slow reel. Yeah, reel down on him. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, you got him now. Oh yeah, hooked up. Maybe. I think it came off. No, he's still there. He's just coming at you. There we go. Think it might be in this other one blind. Could be. Where's he at? What's he feel like? Small. He's still on it at all. Yeah. Little guy. That's a double bait too, I think. Oh, there he is. Fight. Ooh, you got you another five pounder there, I think. Oh, 
God, look how fat that thing is. <laughs> look at the belly on that thing. It's just silly. You walk back with him. Out. Yeah. This one's a leader fish. Oh, that is the fattest little blue cat. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That is the fattest little blue cat I've ever seen, dude. <laughs> Got to unhook him there. That's wild. <laughs> well, I figured out why that other fish didn't hook up. Huh. Roll back into the bait. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna throw it back out there. I reckon. Okay. David's trying to unhook Mick McNugget back there. You've been eating too many McNuggets. All right, that's on the bottom. Yeah, and then push forward now. You know, like, you take it and you, like that. And then you, like, grab, maybe. We have to get the box for this one. He's in there. Jeez. I need let go. All right, come here, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Give me your mouth. Open up. See that little thing. <sighs> Hold him up sideways, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that is the fattest little catfish. <laughs> Draymond's going to release McNugget now. Chuck them back. Here you go. See you later, McNugget. Big belly. That thing's been eaten. Mm -hmm. So uh, here's the size chucks we're going to be throwing. Just massive. Like a three pound skipjack chunk. We don't want no more little fish. Only biggins. Kind of rotated back over this way. That bait's so big I can barely throw it out there. I'm gonna give this spot another 15 minutes or so and then we go move. So we broke the ice with a couple catfish. I'd like to just get it big and now if we can we can help it that would be cool right here that's a big fish get his get him get him get him get him go down real 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 okay get out of there you got him all right just be easy with him now you want to pull that hook out remember all right we're we'll packing up the move and we got a slam a jamma that's definitely at least a 10 pounder we're trying to find a bigger fish, y'all. This is on that massive chunk I threw out that he just caught El Gordo on. Did he come off? No, no, he's still in. He's just coming at you. All right, step down. Back this drag off a little bit. Okay, Raven's got him on. Maybe we need to put it back up. Okay. I don't know how big he is. I can't really tell yet. I used to pull it. Is that drag? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign. We got a little drag puller, guys. Yeah, he's pulling it. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Walk him up to the right. 
Here we go, guys. We got some fish on now. Ooh, look at the bend. That's good. All right, keep it bent. Easy down. Easy down. Just keep it bent. Yep, you just want it bent just like that. Perfect. Perfect. That's going to be a decent fish, Draven. That's going to be a good fish. Hey. He's not making much ground when he reels, and that drag ain't super loose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, you got a fish. You got a fish. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Just keep it bent. Okay. There's an anchor rope down there at the back. That's all I'm worried about. You got a fish, buddy. All right. Okay, there you go. Just find him right there. I think we're clear of the anchor rope back there. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Draven's got a good one. Yeah, just keep it bent just like that. We need constant tension on There we go. Oh, drag, drag, lots of drag. Okay, keep that rod bent. We're still good. We're just making sure we're not in this anchor rope, y'all. All right, yeah, keep, keep on reeling. I'm not making much progress when I do reel. I'm going backwards. Yeah, you can't let it come up. You can't, can't let it. Ooh, big bubbles, bro. This is going to be a good fish. Stick your rod out to the right. And just keep him away from the boat. Oh, this is going to be a good fish. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's a bruiser. There we go, buddy. Oh, big fish, bro. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. That's a bruiser. All right. See if he can get his head up to me. He's like circling like a tuna. Oh, hell. Okay. Dang, I don't know how to met. Okay. Dang, it won't go in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. Okay. Man. That's a good one, bro. <laughs> Jeez. That's probably a PB, I'd say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> High five, bro. Heck yeah. That's a jumbo. Back hurts now. <laughs> Heck, maybe we ought to hang out here for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Or we can just go explore and try to find another one. Let's go exploring. Yeah, there's a couple spots out in fish step stream. That's a 50 pound fish. We'll weigh it, but all right. Oh yeah. Jeez, we caught us a monster. Look at that thing. That thing is, it's not like the longest fish in the world, but damn, it's thick. That's wild. Look at that thing. Well, we got the hook, got the hook out finally. It's pretty dope. I'm excited to see how fat this thing is when you pick it up. Like that thing is thick. That's a butter ball. Right. This is El Gordo spot. Gosh, look at that thing. Damn, damn boy, damn boy, he's thick, boy, that's a thick ass boy, damn, ba -ba! And just, you're gonna get disgusting, so. All right. <laughs> there we go, that's a good one, buddy. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, well, let's take a picture real quick and we'll release him. All right, well, we're gonna release this big old bruiser now. Let's see the side of him. That's a monster fish. Actually, let's weigh him real quick. He's 40s for sure. Let me, let's weigh him actually. You don't wanna eat my hand now? We just weighed him. He's about 52 pounds or so. Ooh, that's my blood. Yummy. He's just gonna tear you up no matter what you do.
Third fish of the day is a 52. We'll take it. Okay. And then lay him over here in the water. Oh, oh, about to tear you up. Yeah. Oof. It may be easier to release him off the right hand side of the boat over there. <laughs> and then grab him up underneath the belly. Okay. You wanna stop? He's just gonna bite the graph out of you. Oh. Okay. 52 pounder going back. That's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Let's go get another one. Oh yeah. My turn. Oh yeah. So right now we've got really, really heavy flow right now on the lake, the river section here, and the name of the game is finding current breaks for those fish to sit in. So we've got a big river hole right here at the tip of an island. And so as this current washes by, these fish can sit down inside of this hole and get out of the current. So I'm gonna try to throw the anchor in this area and then we're gonna float back and fish this area with our cut bait and let that cut bait wash downstream. And I bet there's some timber and stuff down here that's gotten stuck on the head of the island as it's flooded over the years. So that's what we're gonna do. He's gonna drop the anchor in a second and we're gonna throw some cut bait. See what happens. Well, there may be some water droplets on the screen. Can't really do anything about that, guys. It's, it's raining. So we are gonna drop some giant freaking baits down in this hole and see if we can get another pig to come and play. Sitting at about 60. And we're just going to fan cast all around this deep hole. There's lots of current. So uh, if we get hit out here, we get sh we should get slammed. I'm hoping. I'd like Draven to be able to see one just get obliterated. Uh, the bait clicker is turned on that. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm gonna cast the rest of these guys out and we'll be right back with you. These are the size of skipjacks we using. Yep. Yummy, yummy. No, I meant for my water bottle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got all over his Nalgene. Good stuff. We just got... <laughs> what bass guys use for bait? What we use for bait. <laughs> We got all the rods out. My glasses are just completely covered in rain. I can't see anything. So Draymond's gonna have to be the rod watcher so I can get my... My glasses cleaned off. I gotta get my glasses. <laughs> One thing that I also forgot to mention, some heathen stole the Yeti poop bucket at Smoky Mountain Brewery in Turkey Creek. Little do they know that the Yeti bucket is actually the poop bucket and has had all kinds of horrible things in it. So I hope they get pink eye and enjoy the, the Yeti bucket with the uh, cast net full of literally 12 month old Threadfin Chad that are deteriorated inside of it. Cause I never throw that cast net and I never cleaned it out. So they need it more than me apparently. So enjoy the bucket. It's my turn now. You caught a 50, I'm catching a fish, even if it's a two pounder. <laughs> Not at that spot, but we've bumped on over to this bluff that looks pretty cool. It's like 40 feet of water. I'm sure there's some rocks and stuff on the bottom. I don't think they can see it. Bluff, rock, and then we're gonna fish it, I guess. Depth finder is not working, so I'm just kinda like, well, this looks good on the map, we'll fish it. Drop that sucker back there. And it's kind of out of the wind over here. Bonk. I'm all for being out of the wind. I bet some of that chunk rock 
is down here and I'm betting we may catch a flathead right here. That would be my ideal hope of this spot would to be to catch a, a decent flathead. You ever caught a flathead, Draven? Okay. They are my favorite. Uh, just a little decent lob over there. Doesn't have to go super far. Okay, that's about to do it. About 40 feet deep here, I think. At least that's what it says on the, the map. How accurate that is, I have no earthly clue. I'm gonna take one of these doubles and throw it over here, though. <laughs> gotta have a double up against the bank. It kind of stopped raining. The birds are coming out. I may, oop, I may uh, clean my glasses so I can see something. There's that one. Can't find my glasses. I didn't throw that. That wasn't good enough. You know, Velma kind of thick. And I really hope we catch a flathead here. Good cast. All right. We got a mud motor back there. Let's throw our Mondo chunk out. Yeah. Our... Somebody out hook. There could be some monsters over here, or there could be absolutely freaking nothing. I don't know. Oh yeah, chunky boy. Ah, oh, let's do a fresh. Let me get one of them fresh ones down in there. You want a head or body? Body. Oh, look how big that body section is. Hmm. Must have been a lawn. Uh, can you hold on to that one for a second? I need to throw out this other one with the lighter weight first. Those mud motors are fun. You can take it about dag them anywhere. Indeed. See the big. Uh, it's probably all right. That's just the current doing it. Yeah, name of the game. With this stuff. That guy's on the bottom. Man, I hope they're over here. We'll be back. Draven here is going to demonstrate oh. how to honk to the greater Canadian geese. Honk. 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 Honk, 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 honk. 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 Yo, I'm Canadian. Hey, shh, he's talking. Crepes. The dog didn't like the crepes. <laughs> what do Canadians like? Maple syrup. Apologies, they like apologies. Nah, they don't like us. Oh, we have a bite there. It was a dink though. He's trying to deck on that big old giant head piece. But it ain't working. 
We've moved spots again for a third time. There's an underwater island over here that's like 14 feet deep. And then it's 45 right here and 50 something out that way. So we were just sitting on the edge of it and the tip of the island's like right down there. Hopefully we can pick a fish moving up from this deep water up on top of the island to feed right before dark. Either way, we've had a good day. I'd say so. Yeah. But I'd like to catch a big one too. But beggars can't be choosers. I'll take a 10 pounder. All right, guys, I'm going to have Draven hold the camera here and I'm going to show you how big these dang skipjack are where you simply made. That's a three pound skipjack. <laughs> Look how fat that thing is. It's that time of the year. I'm going to save them for tomorrow. Right here. Come on, be a good, be a good baby. Yep, that is a good one. Oh, that's drag. That's drag. Oh, yeah, we hooked up. Oh, he smoked it. Smoked it. Oh, baby. This is a big one, y'all. No, he came off. No, he didn't. Okay. Oh, oh. That scared the crap out of me. Uh, Draven, can you come back here and pull this anchor up? Because this guy's going right for it. Yep, like really quickly. Thank you. Boy, what a takedown. What a takedown. We'll get that thing up. Oh, this thing's digging. This thing's digging. Look, it's just dead weight. Okay. Oh, buddy. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Okay, um, gosh, he's still pulling drag. Uh, can you pick that up right there for me? That rod? And I'm going to go underneath it. And you just put it back in the holder. Okay. Alright. Oh, he's going upstream now. Oh my gosh. He's going upstream. Stop head shaking. Oh, more drag. More drag. More drag. Oh. Come on, baby. We're just working them up nice and slow. Oh, stop head shaking. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. and easy down on the wire trying to go back downstream now it's a good thing you got that anchor up or he would have been in it 100% good boy good boy good blue Heck yeah. All right, so come down downstream of me. And you're gonna net him head first. Pull him back. All right, get him. All right. And then stick the net. Yep, that's good. There we go. Not as big as yours, but uh, this is a, good a good fish for sure, absolutely. I'm happy to have that. Heck yeah. He slammed it too. That was a fight. My bicep's sore. Whew. Heck yeah. 
need a big old head piece. Let's see how good I had this one hooked. Oh, it was through the tooth patch. That, that was not going anywhere. That was through the tooth pad. That hook got him. Oh, he's biting the tarnation out of me. Ow! Okay, let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, that's all messed up. All right, be right back. That's a good little fish to cap the evening off. Off, off, whatever, words. He, that fish slammed. I thought this was gonna be like another 50 pound fish the way that thing fought. But he's just a upper 20, something like that. Big guy, big fat belly. Fought hard in this heavy current, a big old bait. We're gonna release him.